Hi and welcome to Awesome Eats. Today I'll be showing you 8 awesome steak hacks you need to know for better steaks. Dry edge your own beef. Leave your steaks, and steaks can be pork or beef, in your fridge uncovered for up to 3 days and lay it on something that circulates air like a cake rack or a grill. This will create a similar process to when butchers dry edge their steaks to make them more tender and develop a much more intense beefy or porky flavor. There are two options to this one. Salt your meat just before cooking the steak. If you leave it out any longer than 3 minutes, it draws out too much moisture. But if you have the time, salt it 40 minutes until overnight because that draws the moisture back into the steak, creating almost a brine in an awesome throughout seasoned steak. A super weird marinating trick? Instead of marinating your meat with vinegars or wine, which can ruin protein structure, try marinating your meat in some sparkling water for 3 hours or even overnight. This creates an amazing brine which tenderizes the meat incredibly after you cook it. After searing, don't put your meat into an oven that's 180 degrees hot and cook it in there for 5 minutes like restaurants recommend to do. It's far too hot and it will make the meat contract too much and lose moisture. Low and slow is mostly the key. Lower your oven temperature to 100 degrees Celsius and let the meat cook in there until internal 55 degrees, which takes half an hour to an hour. It takes longer, but it creates less gradient on your steak and it will be pink all the way through. Flip your steak frequently. I know all cookbooks say flip your steak only once in the pan and cook it each side for 3 minutes. It's not a bad method, but try flipping your steak every 10 to 15 seconds, creating a rotisserie in your frying pan. The pan will be hot enough to give your steak an awesome crust, but won't overcook the inside to get medium rare results. Cut your meat against the grain. This makes the difference. I know this tip is annoying because now everyone should know it, but eating with a short grain as opposed to the long grain renders a much more tender bite. I can't emphasize this enough. Every cut of steak has a grain and you should always cut against it, even if it's still raw and you're using it for a stir fry. Take your steak out at the right temperature. Forget touching your hand or your face to figure out the doneness of your meat. It'll make you look stupid. I'm sick of people doing that. Take an instant reed probe and take your steak's temperature. This is the most precise way and best way to cook a steak. Take it out for 50 at rare or 55 for medium and 60 for well done. The heat will increase when you take it out and let it rest. Don't cook it any further than that. Try out a method called sous vide for your steak. It cooks it much preciser, and here's a link to one of my older videos that shows you exactly how it's done. Thanks a lot for watching another hack video, and please don't forget to subscribe.